sorting something that we quite often want to do either with or without the computer and this is a classic unplugged activity that demonstrates the idea that computers can only compare two values at a time. It's um, ideally done with some actual scales and some actual jars with different weights but this is a simulation for those of you who haven't got the equipment. So at the top we've got a number of jars each of which has a weight that we can't see. It's a random weight so it behaves differently each time so students can do it again and practice their skills and then we've got scales and you can compare the weight of two jars by dragging them onto the scales. So there are a variety of different methods that you can use for sorting and if you look in the help button there is a link to a page that I've also created on sorting algorithms which explains how they work and there's an interactive um, demonstration of the different techniques. So first of all I'm going to show you how to do uh, a bubble sort which is the most common type of sort done on the computer. Um, in each pass through the jars it bubbles the well in this case the heaviest jar up to the end so after each pass we'll know which is the heaviest of the remaining jars and we can put them in the right order at the bottom of the screen. So a computer will always go left to right um, or go through in the same order certainly um, but it doesn't matter which way we go uh, when we're doing it manually. So first of all I'll compare jar A and B and we can see that uh, B is the heavier there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that along and I'm going to compare B with C and C is heavier so I'm going to keep that one and I'm going to compare that with D and now D is the heaviest we've found so far so because we're keeping the heaviest one on then effectively what we're doing throughout is we're keeping the heaviest one and when we get to the end we'll know which is the heaviest one so far so what we do is we just press the uh, replace the top one with the next jar in the sequence so like so and so far D is still the heaviest but now I is the heaviest and so we'll compare that with J and I is the heaviest of that first pass so we know that that's the heaviest jar so we can do that again it doesn't matter um, which way we go so I'll just go backwards so I'll repeat that process so swapping the lightest jar with the next one in the sequence and now we know that D is the next heaviest jar so we can repeat this it gets quicker as we go on because each pass there's fewer jars uh, to compare so now that G is the next heaviest and then so H so J would be next and then we'll do H F, E, C, B and A. So it doesn't matter which way you go as long as you're systematic and you make sure you compare all of the jars. So, um, okay, H, F, E, E, B and A. So then And then we've only got two left, obviously we can put them both on the scales and we see that B is heaviest and A it must be the lightest. When you've done it all, depending on the browser, um, some browsers behave differently. It should show you the weights, but I'm using Chrome here because it was the only one that gives me the right amount of zoom to fit everything onto the uh, screen. Um, it will should show you the weights, but it tells you how many steps uh, that you've taken to sort them and it will show you the best score so far at the bottom. So when it redraws the screen the jars will have different weights so the order will be different so the students can challenge themselves to sort them in fewer steps and if you're lucky um, because the number of steps which required does depend on the actual weight so there is a um, slight element of luck involved but you should be able to get down into the teens using an effective um, sorting method.